we're playing Stars Without Number. She's Bermuda, I'm Phil, and he's Hariel. Great. And we're we're Great with our intro. normal people again, as usual. And uh, uh, they're off camera again, as usual. And Hariel will ask someone to tell us what happened last. <laughs> yes, Spin and this bottle. time is going to be Yolly. It happened, hold on. <laughs> uh, went, Skaboria, smuggled some mercenaries, uh, did that. Psychic. Sure, psychics. Uh, left Skaboria, went to other planet. Uh, did we get a job to go take mining equipment to Waterworld? Yep. Covered and, in uh, drugs. And then we delivered mining equipment, also drugs. Done. Wow, very similar. Made summarized. a nice new contact. Okay. Which is the drug man. Man who deals in all the drugs. Uh, the reason we went to deliver these mercs is because the woman that uh, uh, Mapuchin knows said that she'd be able to give us some awesome ass, like, space suity shield doodads, so... That ten is that technical lingo? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, you are at the edge of the Naredi system, so pilot, make that test. Good pilot, not rubbish pilot. I can't navigate, so... Is he passed out drunk? I imagine he's mm -hmm. fiddling. He probably, probably is. I think he's like making food at the same like or something. It is Chris, Did you go somewhere, Chris? Maybe we should let Ollie's character fly. I, I can't navigate. N neither can the rest of us, but we gotta go. We gotta go. What what does he roll? Like what's it? <laughs> he rolls with a plus one usually to get the travel time as short as possible. Yep. So it takes you three days from the radius to do your boss. Anything you guys do during the trip? I get to know the boy. Oh god. No line of inquiry, just casual conversation. Yes, I mean, you said something about knowing someone that was in prison, and uh, I was wondering if you were feeling sad about the fact that he died recently. I mean, was put to death. Like, over it. Okay, good, good. He did also have that massive day where we just drank and did, like, nothing anyone ever wanted to do. Okay. Um, if you don't have any business on Duibos, you can travel to Gunhild. Why is this planet? Did, did we want to try it. and find some new uh, new contacts while here? Also, how long did it take us to get here? Three. Uh, three days. That's about the planet, how are you? What do you want to know? Like, it's a comedy, like, you know, standard stuff. Let me get the. Is file. it a, sky of, a hive of scum and villainy? Uh, no, actually, Duibos has a very bustling industry. In what kind of trade? Or was it just a trade business where they trade with Gunhild? They mostly trade with Gunhild for now because Gunhild just conquered the, the planet. Okay. So it's like under Gunhild's rule Protection. and adapting. Yeah. So how many battleships are in orbit? Over here, uh, you don't see any battleships. 
there's no battleship sign. Oh. Well, no, no, um, battleships is in like military cruisers and not, not just battleships, you know. I know. Don't see any, you know, super battleships. They're all in stealth, boy. Yes, the, the, the magnificent stealth generator of our time. We should we should invest in one of those. Uh, but the planet has a very hostile biosphere to life, so they need to deal with that as well. Um, well, what's our current job? Going to Gunhill to pick up our shield generators. All right. And then we'll probably pick up another job in Gunhill and go do that. Yes. All right. So, does anyone want to look around for anything, or shall we just jump on? I have no business in this uh, this system. Excellent, pilot. Mm -hmm. oh, unless unless Natasha has anything to say about it. Natasha, no. would you like to say to us? She doesn't need to visit the planet. Cool. Onwards, pilot. If you aren't too drunk. Correct amount of drunk is best. Oh shit, son. That's correct, right? Plus four for no, it's not. reason, so that would be eleven. Isn't it plus three for um thingy magic? Uh no yeah. Uh computers. Hey, and then... you should have put a plus three. Well, I, shouldn't I have a plus one for intelligence? You have a plus one for navigation, which is static. The macro already counts it. Uh -huh. Plus one for intelligence and plus two for nav for the nav computer. Oh, I thought it was plus three. Never mind. You, w you need to see that the number inside the box is already counted in. You just need to insert the rest. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm really tired today. It's okay. Yeah, so you didn't speed up or anything? Uh, no, we're not in a hurry, right? So. Okay, takes you three days to get to Gunhill then. And you are out of fuel, fuel, I believe. And okay, you arrive at the edge of Gunhill, and two more days you get to Gunhill proper. Excellent piloting. And you are orbiting the planet. So, orbital bombardment? You can do it, if you wanna. No. Though, as you, though you can clearly see the massive battle cruisers that Gunhild has. Yeah, so, so my combat gunnery is plus one, um, yeah. Okay. I'm um, wanna... just kidding. <laughs> if you want to attack one of the ships, please be my guest. <laughs> no, no, I will good. gladly destroy you. Mapuchin, do, you, uh, do you have to contact your uh, contact? Yeah. Just to pick yeah. up our devices? Uh, I'll do that. I'll get in touch with her from my personal communication device. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you see her chromed up face. Hunter, how may I help? Um, job complete, and though I've I've had my I've had my ear on the on the news, and I don't know I don't know how much uh, good that did, but we held up we held up our end of the bargain. Yes, you did. They they unfortunately failed, but. Uh... We'll be sending uh, the lovely people of the Protectorate some more uh, gifts. Cool. Keep us, keep us in the loop. Now, uh, have you been able? Have you gotten your hands on any of the blah 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 force field armor? 
She says, I've only been able to get my hands and hold on to one of them. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately. Okay, well... We'll take that uh, one and, you know, keep keep us uh, in, in mind, you know, for, for more. Oh, I will. Yes, you did a very wonderful job. Mm-hmm. And Mopachin is going to ask about the shady character in her backstory who was the one who, like, pointed her in the direction of... Uh, her mentor about uh, well has has she heard anything from this from this person this other yeah let me get the name Neo Maris it's a dude right it's a female name but okay. she's probably a lot more manly than even Mapachin okay to to Um, pass for male yeah she says um, haven't had any news of her yet Um, last I knew she she retired yeah quote unquote alright well good I just had her in mind lately and thought about getting in touch so wondered if you knew anything I didn't know. Well, from what I've heard, she... She was around Toscuna. That's when she was last seen by my people. But uh, that's all I've heard. Okay. Well, um... Is it convenient for us to, uh, or for me to, to meet you and, and collect this armor? Uh, if you, you just give me the coordinates and, and a time, or you know, it's up to you. We're in the we're in the system. I'll give you the coordinates for a landing place, and you will receive your armor. So, am I around, or are you doing this completely in private? I'm doing this in private. I'll let you know what transpired. When will you do that? When the when the call is ended. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so I have coordinates, yeah? Yes. Okay. Is that all, Hunter? Yeah, that's all. I mean if I see you face to face and I and I think of something or anything comes up, you know. I'll let you know. But that's all for now. It depends on who you come down to the planet with. Hmm. Do you have uh preferences? Alone would be nice, but I do recall that you are not able to fly a ship. <laughs> That's true. I'm I'm not a pilot, but so if it's, if it's you and just a pilot, and the pilot stays inside, we might meet face to face. Okay. Will that be all? That's all for now. I'll see you on the planet. Okay. So, Mopachin, uh, yeah, confronts Captain Isfield. What the fuck? Only one device? We did How this did you crazy know? job for, uh, for multiple devices. Yeah, well, She promised us a lot of money. She didn't promise. Well, she... generally we agreed upon a kind of price, which was the price for... Was it four of them for us, or five, or...? However many people ordered one, I don't know. Three, I believe. Three, I yeah. don't think Raylan wanted one. No. Leet says, we delivered all of her items. She should pay with all of the fields. Otherwise, we should go back and take back some of those items. The dead items? No, we, I'm sure she has some others. Hmm. Well, these, you know, these things, they, you can't hang on to them for long. They're in high demand and they, they shuffle around a lot, so it, I well, think we're lucky then, to have one. 
Maybe let's she make some sure. Credits. Let's make sure she either pays us the rest in credits, as uh, as Leech just said, or that she definitely says that the others are coming to us. If you say that you have to go alone, or well, at least with Raylan, or the boy, if he's going to fly you down. I don't care who flies down there. Uh, Raylan wants to go down. Okay. So, who's going down? I'm going down? Yeah. And Mapachin? Yeah. Anyone else? I'm not going. She's... I... well... You were told to come alone, so I'm not going to be coming. Just make sure you try and get the best out of it, as I'm not there to do any form of communication. <laughs> Okay, so Raylan, the coordinates on the planet are for basically a ruined city. Uh, okay. History tells that you know, it was bombarded by the previous government government that ruled over Duibos, that managed to destroy that city. I guess I just played on there. Mm -hmm. So you land and Mapachin, I guess you walk out. Mm -hmm. Do you give Raylan any order to stay inside? Does Raylan come out? Well, I'll ask him nicely if he if he wouldn't mind waiting. He he doesn't mind. Yeah, you've done this before. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you walk out. It is nighttime and you just see uh, what seems to be a laser pointer you know first pointing at you you know that it is a sniper that's aimed at you then the pointer clicks off and you just hear a voice telling you to step forward yeah Mopatine steps forward not even flinching. Okay. Uh, you step forward and you see uh, your contact there, grinning at you. Hello, Hunter. Long time no see. Indeed. But uh, how are you holding up? How have things been these days? Oh, great. Gunhild is paradise. If you say so. Not for the reasons uh, uh, you think of. Yeah, I can't think of any reasons to call this place paradise. You're right. I want to get away, but I keep coming right back. That is the curse of only having a single planet with advanced technology. Yeah, I... well... You know me, I've never been so taken with technology. I think it's I think it's overrated, but kids these days, right? <laughs> yes, indeed. Um let's do business, shall we? Yes, yes. So she takes you inside and you clearly see that it's basically a small military base in the ruins of these buildings. Uh, she takes you to a little room and inside there's this little, there's this crate. Um, she points at it and says, uh, your field is right there. Okay. Um, the, you know, some other members of my crew wanted some of these as well and that was kind of the agreement, uh, the, the agreed payment for the job, so uh, are you just going to give us the rest as you get your hands on them? Uh, you know, will they be coming in the future once you have them? Or are, are we just receiving this one now and then the difference in payment? Or what Have I ever wronged you? No, no. I just I wondered, you know, what's the situation? Are we just going to be paid for the difference or uh, just an IOU for the for the rest of the equipment. 
these things are kind of rare. I understand. I understand. I'm I even, feel lucky you even had in one. Gun-Hild. But uh, as I get my hands on them, I might store them up mm-hmm. for you. Um, don't worry. I will. I will try and get my hands on them. I am a person of my word, as always. Uh, I know. I I I trust you. Uh, the rest of the crew was a bit disappointed, though, to hear that there was only one. I don't think they understand how difficult it is to come by these uh, these things. So. Well, a baby always cries when it misses uh, when it misses the teat. The teat. That is true. Uh, it... Here from space. I love titties. <laughs> um. Yeah. So shall we say that uh, you'll 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 contact us as soon as as soon as you've got another one or the or the rest of the set. Uh, we we come to this planet so often that I don't think you'll even have to wait. You you won't have to hold on to them very long. We'll come and collect them. Yes, we'll I will cash. Yes. Or we'll take cash. And say forget about the rest. I will warn you of any fields that come by me whenever you are around the, the system. Uh, okay. For this one, the price, as I said, would have a discount for the job well done. Mm-hmm. And... The discount is of 40% of the market value of them. Fantastic. So I say that again? I zoned out for a second. 40% of the market value, which... The value was it in like the book. 33... She's okay. asking us to pay for the things now that she said she would give us all at once. She didn't say she would give. She never said that. She said she'd hang on to them for us. We were always going to buy them. The promise was a discount if no, we no, did a it, good it, job. It was. It was. She was. She was. Either we were going to buy them from her, which she then said, "No, I won't do. I'll give you them if you do this mission." No, she never said that. Leech proposes that in the future, all of our contracts be written down, <laughs> since he remembers us getting three of these things in exchange for the delivery as well. Well, you know, the video is up on Twitch if you want to go watch what happened last time. But yeah, we can write down the exact deals in the future. But, you know, it's it's been recorded and it's on Twitch, so you can check it out. Not just you... that. It, it, it means that I should be doing the deals in the future. <laughs> Even with everyone else's contract. Look, I contacted her in the first place just to see if she could get us these things illegally so we wouldn't have to pay the taxes. Because you can get them legally and pay out the nose So does it taxes. cost 40% or does it cost 60%? 60%. It's 40 off. So it's 18,000. Yes. So how much are we getting off the price of it, sorry? 40. 40 off. No, no, how, how many actual credits? 12,000. So we did a mission for 12,000 credits, basically. Yes. You got 80,000 when you delivered the psychics. Well, okay then. Yeah, I mean... She wanted it's not us bad. To, to... Let's let's buy them. Whoever wants to pay their money to have it first, it's probably you, Leech, because you're Malie. Because when we came to her, she didn't have any, and she was like, "I'll keep my ear out." In the meantime, here's something it's you can do. Forty six thousand a piece, and we all get one if we're just going to use my contact. Everybody has forty six thousand, right? I don't so. think I quite I... do. Oh, we I have forty seven. Well, I've got 61,000. What did you guys spend your money on? I've got 51,000. I, I just got money and that's it. I'm not talking to the new guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> I got 50,000, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Harry, yeah. whilst I'm on Gun Hill, I'm going to level up some skills, I think. Okay. Um, take vehicle land. Calm down this first. Right. So, Harry, I give a call to the guy that I knew who could sell them to us legitimately. Uh, Erkad. Let me put his name through something that can spell it to me. Something tells me the Don't best thing to do it. is to like buy 
the first one from her at the reduced price. Whoever wants it reduced, and then just the rest of us get it through your contact. Well, let's Thank just you. split the let's just split the overall cost. That way, we'll be able to afford yeah, it. Yeah, right? okay, that makes yeah. sense. Oh, is it too expensive? Okay, so you contact Ekia from the ship. Yep. Okay. He his face shows up on the hall of it. Says he does he know your real name? Uh, he knows me as Leech. Everyone does. Okay, so Leech, how may I help? Uh, still in the market for a couple of those field projectors. Oh, you are. Pricey stuff, my friend. Yeah, managed, managed Especially to come on up. Gun Hill. Yeah, managed to come up with the credits, so figured I'd call you back. You did? Oh, interesting. Only enough for two. I know I said three before, but. Well, very well then. Uh, come down to the planet whenever you are available. Come to my office. Uh, we will fill up the legal documentation with the government, of course. Uh, and you should be provided with them, you know, whenever the government feels you know they want want to release something to a civilian, you know. All right, well, yeah, just uh, send me over all the relevant paperwork, and uh, we'll come down when the date is good. Good, good. I'll see you. I'll see you in a few. Well, yeah, Leash waits for him to send approval or whatever, and then he goes down. Mm-hmm. So the paperwork that he sends over, it's a lot of legal jargon. But in the end, it's uh, it needs basically fingerprint, eye scans, and a DNA sample. I wouldn't have it like that pictures. happen with me. I'm well known already. Basically, they need a biometric uh, profile of you. That's what the government requires to sell you this type of stuff. Yeah, I'd prefer to not have my biometrics in a computer, but I'm willing to do it. What do you think, Mapa? She's down on the planet still. We got compads. Oh yeah, she has one. I mean, if the worst comes to the worst, basically, if she keeps giving us the items, we just sell them off to someone else. Uh, Once, yeah, exactly. We've got multiples. Or we'll have new crew members that can use them. They'll always come in handy. But yeah, I'm okay with being in the registry. Mapachin? Seems like a no no to me. Well, it'll just be me and Albert. We're all in the same crew. No, but I think what we're saying is the fingerprints and biometrics are of. Uh, Leech and I. Right. I'm not even sure Leech has a fingerprint anymore. <laughs> They'll find a way. I mean, it's Gunhild. If they wanted to find us, they could find us. So, not too worried about it. I mean, it's not yeah. like we can actually do anything illegal with these things. Yeah, what are we going to do? Rob Gunhild? <laughs> Leave you our fingerprints try. on the planet. <laughs> you never know. So, Mapachin, do you take the field emitter from your contact? Mm-hmm. And I'll, okay. you know, I'll give her the money for it, and then we'll figure out the rest of the money up on the ship. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you pay her, she gives you the field emitter, and she says that whenever there's a job... A delivery job, she will contact you. Good. I'm I'm interested in Scaboria. Oh, you are? Good. Good to know. Never been there before, but you know, seeing it very hot. With, yeah, well, yeah. Seeing it with my own eyes interested me. Yes, it does interest my employers very much. So, yeah, thanks, and uh, see you, whatever this, whatever the trendy phrase is in this, in this future era. 
<laughs> see you later, see you around. Smell you later, yeah. catch you yeah. on the flip side. Yeah, stuff like that. See you later, alligator. Don't get caught in a meta-dimensional explosion, something like that. So you get back to the ship and you have a crate with a field emitter projector. Actually, I I like ask my machine if it's okay if we take a detour. What do you have in mind? I I, I want to pick up some some stuff from my workshop. Okay, yeah. Will it if, take if one? That is, uh, is that available, Harry? I'll be game. Uh, yeah, you can. Gun Hill works 24-7. Okay. Or what, what is 24-7 for them? 28-6. Yeah. yeah, something something like that. So I, I guess I, I, just, I can just find a place to buy supplies for a workshop? It depends on what kind of workshop you're trying to get. Um... Yeah. I mean, it's more of a tinkering thing. You know, maybe mm-hmm. make some explosives, maybe. Oh. And uh, holograms, you know. Explosives change the whole deal. <laughs> yeah, that's a totally different ballpark. Just going to a farm store, picking up a bit of... Uh... Go pick up some bleach, man. Yeah. Fertilizer. Bleach, a little bit of fertilizer. Nothing bad. Uh, get space NSA on your ass. Well, maybe like I don't buy the materials, so I just buy it like so I have a workshop, you know, because we don't yeah, really have one. like a like computer controlled super critical CO2 extractor, you know, yeah, 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 stuff like that. Um, here's the thing if you want to make like uh, holograms and you know, non lethal stuff. They're pretty much fine. Okay. If you're going to, you know, be making guns, explosives, then you might have gun healed on your ass, you know. He's going to build a mech laboratory. <laughs> yeah. Start building mechs. That's cool, yeah. right? I don't think the, the ship, ship would fit them. Like maybe mini a mechs? Suit, a suit or two could maybe fit in the ship's cargo He's going to build it as an addition on the ship. So we're oh. like, we're going to, like, pull <laughs> yeah. it. It comes out of the ship. Be a mobile mech factory, yeah. You've seen Transformers, right? Yes, I have. <laughs> they are shit. Oh, no, you didn't. Not Michael Bay oh. Transformers, but oh. remember the, the cartoon with uh, Unicron? Unfortunately, I don't think I'm old enough to remember them. <laughs> Actually, yeah, that came, out in the, that came out in the 80s, but it's a really amazing cartoon movie. You should watch it if you haven't seen it. Leonard Nimoy's in it and shit. I will put it, put it in my list. Aaron, do you know what Bar Weep, Grana Weep, Ninny Bon means? No. It's the, it's the Transformers International Greeting. Oh. <laughs> Is this now mock Harriel's age time? No, it's no, more Phil showing phrase. off. You dick. Phil's just showing off what a massive nerd you he is. Dick. <laughs> Alright, so is it a different like workshop I need to buy then? Or or uh, you know not how does it really. work mechanically? It's just that you will have more expensive materials, you have higher yeah. taxes, and you might have to you know, give out a biometric. Oh, I won't do that. So, yeah, just go with the legal stuff for now. Okay. Uh, the workshop, you know, total will cost you around 5,000 credits. Cool. But you'll have, you know, a workplace to do stuff in. Yeah, and I've already, like, bought the thing. Um... The holographic like decoy thing, mm-hmm. like Matt's for it. So, yeah. yeah, so Mapachin, you guys, you know, travel to the other side of the planet in the lander, um, and you basically go with Braylon on a shopping spree to get a bunch of nerd shit. Mapachin tries not to giggle. He's he's not actually drunk this time. He's he's like excited. <laughs> so that's that's a bit different. He's sober. Yeah, yeah. 
Holy. Well, he's, he's drunk he's, on he's, excitement. He's hungover, of course, but he's always like he's he's also excited. Nice. So yeah, what are you guys uh, doing in the ship? Because they are taking a bit too long. Can I go find a trainer to train myself some skills? It's going to take uh, days. Depends on the skills, and it's going to take a few days. Yes. Ve vehicle grav. Vehicle grav. You would need to go down to the planet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, no. Okay. Are you going to take the shuttle in the station down, or are you landing the whole Damocles? Uh, just wait for them to get back. Yeah, I'll just wait for them to get back. Dude, give you a ride back. I have some business uh, I need to take care of down on Gunhild as well. So. Okay. So yeah, eventually Mapachin and Raylan come back. Hours and hours later, it's basically it's morning time where you guys landed first. By now, it's like the next day. Yes, it is the next day. It is the tenth. How long does it take to train a skill from like negative one to zero? Uh, rank plus skill points. In days, ah. plus two. Wait, so if, to get it from minus one to zero, that would be what? Well, so from from if minus it's one a to skill, zero. then it's plus one is your cost, right? So it would be one plus two. Yes. Oh, so three days. Yes. How many days would it take it to get from minus one to one? Seven a week. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, we have time in system anyway because we gotta wait on the government or whatever to release another batch of FEPs. Yeah. And I'm, I actually think I'm gonna train up my gunnery skill now. I was gonna do something else, but yeah, I think I'll train up gunnery to zero. Okay. Like vehicle craft to one. So how much will that cost me in credits? There's a like a table or whatever in the book. Yes, page sixty-five is going to take you a thousand five hundred. Cool, thanks. From zero to one, or is that all the way yes. to negative one? From all the way from negative one. Thank you. To one or to zero? To one. Uh, how much is it just to zero? Five hundred. Okay, cool. It basically doubles every time. The base, the start fee is five hundred. And then it doubles from then, from from there. So how long is it total training time for you guys? Three days for me, and then another four. Yeah. For him. So seven days total. Do our emitters show up by then? So I guess. When Raylan and Mapachin come back, you guys take the lander down and well, go do your we'll, business. We'll work out like a, yeah, like a, a schedule or whatever, so people that want to go down to the planet for that day can go down. Mm -hmm. um, so Albert and Leech, you guys meet up with Eckhead. It's a weird name. And he has you, you know, sign the contracts and give out all the information needed. Uh, and on the sixth day of downtime that you guys have, so leech your training would be done. You guys are called in for uh, an interview with a government representative. All right, I show up 15 minutes early. Okay. Um, you get to this building. It is fairly large. There is no queue to get in, though the inside looks, you know, like your typical government building. Outside, you see parked three uh, Valkyrie. Uh, 
max. Both the all three the SIMAC uh, variants. I go off on a long tangent about how the SIMAX are overpriced. With you, with whom? Anyone that's around? Albert came too, right? Okay. Yes. Yeah. You guys basically see these uh, three SIMAX parked outside the building. Like, yeah, they're advanced, but when you get down to it on paper, the actual performance just isn't there per credit spent. Albert gives no shits. I agree. I am not too fond of psychers myself, so I think you're probably right. They're creepy, aren't they? Yes. That one we had on the crew that was blue? That was a you psych. never knew uh, that yes. she was blue. Uh, well, we knew the most of her, the people that took I, her. Yeah, I, I bumped... I had an occasion where, like, we ran into each other in the shower or something. It was super awkward. <laughs> the showers would be pitch black because she would burn in normal light. That's why I thought it was empty. Space <laughs> Italians. Cool. Walk in there, flip on the light. Ah, you're blue! Flip it back on. <laughs> nice. I still have blue titties haunting my dreams. Avatar. <laughs> Lovely. Okay. Let me get a random name. So we go. Have we gone inside to do this fingerprinting stuff, or what's happening now? Uh, no. Basically, Eka got your biometrics all done, all you know, nice and clean. You gave out the money, and now you're called in for this meeting, but you didn't receive the fields yet. Oh, okay. How did we pay them? You pay them through ECAD. Okay. Okay. So we're going inside now, right? If this doesn't work, we're bombarding this planet from orbit. Pretty I don't much. even care if we get blown up. We're just finding the largest civilian population center and fucking crashing our ship into it. <laughs> Depends on how you deal with this interview. So... I imagine we walk into the front desk. Hello. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm Albert Isfield. Pleasure. I want so yes. I want Albert to always introduce himself. Like, hi, I'm Kent. Whatever his name was, not Kent Brockman. That whatever guy from Simpsons. Like, you may remember me from such films as blah blah blah. What was his name? Troy McClure. <laughs> that was it. Hi, I'm yes. Troy McClure. You may remember me from such films as blah. Rest in peace, Phil Hartman. Yes. Sorry for interrupting. Okay. So this gentleman, this very well-dressed gentleman, he goes up to you. What are you guys dressing, by the way? And are you armed? Uh, no, I thought the planet was something like we were not supposed to be. Well, we're going to a meeting with exactly. government I, people, so... I, I want to go down, like, normal clothes. Okay. Uh, not, as yes, dress, not dress smartly, no weapons. No more than, mm -hmm. like, a leather jacket. Okay. Okay, so this very well-dressed gentleman, he goes up to you and introduced 
introduces himself as mine, mine, mine. Let me check the name again. Mine. And he, you know, takes your names. Uh, he doesn't seem to recognize your name, uh, Isfield. What? Yeah, he, you know, you know, he greets you, shakes your hand, says, Mr. Isfield, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. I feel like I let it go this time. In a kind of, we're, we're trying to impress these people. Mm -hmm. uh, in in my, when, I'm, when I want to be sure that it's, when dealing with, like, organizations, proper governmental organizations, I'm not going to try and show off. Everyone knows that's the first rule of business. Let them think that they're the bigger one, and then show them what for later. Okay. And mine uh, goes up to you, Leech. Uh, uh, and... By the way, my name on the application is Lucian Smith. Lucian Smith. Okay. Yep. And, yeah, he goes up to you, and you, sir, are Lucian Smith. Is that correct? He extends a hand. He shakes your hand. Um, he looks at you and says, uh, those are some hefty scarring. Uh, what happened? Now you know why I want the field emitter. <laughs> I see. Dangerous work, I believe. Uh, come with me, please. And he... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's like I'm, we're walking with him. Uh, Leech is like, yeah, make sure if you ever go to Florescine, you bring your raincoat. <laughs> yes, um, that that planet is quarantined away for a reason. Don't want to... I would never like to go there. You've been there, Mr. Smith? Yeah, my, my work takes me all over, unfortunately. I see. Uh, so, he gets you guys through a pair of doors, and he points Leech into one and Mr. Isfield into the other. Uh, he says, uh, gentlemen, through these, uh, we'll be interviewed. By the um, way, our story is that I do security for Isfield's family, because they're rich. Okay. And of course, he needs one, because he's rich. Oh, of course. Yes, yes. Very rich. Don't mind not knowing me, it's all fine. Okay, so you guys walk into the room, each one in your room. It is empty, besides like a mirror behind a person. Obviously, a two way mirror. And they introduce themselves. I'm not giving names because they are. Hans and Franz. Yeah, Hans and Franz. Hans with, is with Fish Mr. Isfield and names. Franz is with Leech. They're here to pump you up, okay. <laughs> so they basically start questioning you. First question is, uh, and your name is? Who are they asking? Both of us? or? Yes, they, the questions go up at the same Albert time. Albert Isfield! Lucian Smith. Okay. So each one of you give me a mental effect saving throw, please. We're level two now, right? Indeed. Oh shit! Oh, I forgot. I forgot to update my saving throws, and I have to find it. The saving throws upgrade when you get to level two. Uh, for no. few, for a few classes, it depends on the class. Oh no! It seems I don't get an upgrade to level four. Yeah, I was gonna say experts not getting an upgrade to level four, so he isn't an expert. Yeah, I know. But it would be kind of. Oh, who I saved. <laughs> Nice. I needed a 15 or higher. Mr. Isfield? I'm not lying, so okay. that's fine. 
So they're gonna see your dark secrets. Uh, no. We'll know what you did to Elliot. E.T. Fun home! <laughs> Elliot? <laughs> okay. I see my long, long finger, Elliot. So, yeah, the questioning continues for a while, like, your age, where do you come from? We tell them. <laughs> do you want specifics, Harriel? Uh, I would like specifics on where I you have come forgotten from. my age. Uh, I've come from Cardice. I neglected to write it down on my character sheet. I think There's I'm not somewhere... There's not a space for it on the character sheet. <laughs> like, yeah. I think I'm somewhere late 20s. <laughs> All the 1D100. How old are you? So, so Raylan is actually older than Israel? I'm not 68. <laughs> <laughs> so, Leech, what do you answer when they ask you where you're from? Uh, he says he was born on Florescine, but moved. West Philadelphia. Okay. And why do you want be this sort of uh, hardware? Uh, well, as you can see, I've had a number of unfortunate encounters previously. He shows off, you know, the like mono sword stabbing. The last time he was shot just a few weeks ago. The uh, the burns, obviously. It's like so, uh, I do security for a rather important wealthy family. Uh, there's a lot of people that want to do harm to the Isfields, and it pays to have tech level 5 protection. Same reason you have mechs out front of here. I say pretty much the exact same thing, but I'm um, like, yeah, so everything was safe on Cardice. The uh, the place, the, the compound that the family lived in was uh, very well guarded. Now I'm out of Cardice, uh, I, I feel slightly more worried that I'm a target. So, thus I have my manservant and, uh, sorry, I mean bodyguard and and uh, the shield. So, the Hans, you know, he is, like, tapping away at his compad, and he says, uh, for such a secure compound, Mr. Innsfield, uh, your sister uh, didn't, wasn't so fortunate. Exactly, and think what would what happen if she had one of these shields. What killed her? It was a psyker. I see. Well, those field projectors do not... Protect against psych psychic powers. I'm afraid. Yes. You see, on the the, I believe the people that were trying to harm the family uh, realized they couldn't get weapons inside the compound, but so they were able to send a, a psyker in with uh, some of the cardasite, which made her go terribly insane. Now. I know this might not do so well versus the psychic phenomena, but versus the other things which I would have been prepared for, uh, would have been protected from in, in the compound, where I'm you no were... longer not in the compound, I would like to still be protected from those. Albert Isfield was recently put in the hospital via gunfire as well. Yeah. We were close to losing the magnificence that is Albert Quite. Isfield. <laughs> and what is your line of work, Mr. Isfield? They don't ask who Goods because they export. already know. And what is it that you export? Well, basically, we go to planets and ask what things are 
are able to be transported, needing on one planet or another. For instance, we just took some mechanical parts to Nerades. I believe they were generators of some sort, needed by the mining on there. So basically, I go find jobs and try and deliver items for them. Okay, roll another mental effect save. Just him or both of us? Just him. Okay. Yeah, he keeps, you know, tapping away. And finally they ask, uh, and how how many do you have in your crew? Do you have a ship of your own? Do you work for any government or uh, uh, company? Uh, currently I'm working under my own name. I'm trying to make it so my father, the uh, uh, the elder of the Ilsfield name, they, I'm trying to show him that I can make it on my own and come back with success. So at the moment I'm currently not working for anyone other than myself. And you asked how many are on my crew? Indeed. There are five people on board my crew. Very well. Uh, Leech, what do you answer? He says, uh, including myself, we have five uh, humans on board and no aliens. Okay. So, yeah, after a few, you know, random questions, they let you guys go. And they say that they will have results to you the next day.